I've had the waterfall capital, Hamilton, Ontario, in my backyard for all of these years, literally a one hour drive from Toronto, and didn't start visiting these beautiful falls until this year. And now I'm on a mission to visit as many of these falls as I can. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of the top falls that I have seen so far, and that you should add to your bucket list when you're in the region. For most people, Niagara Falls naturally comes to mind when we think of waterfalls in Canada. But Hamilton holds the title as the waterfall capital of the world, with 156 waterfalls scattered throughout the city. These waterfalls run along the Niagara Escarpment, an arc-shaped ridge formed from ancient glacier activity. Here are five stunning waterfalls worth the visit, including practical information on parking and accessibility. First up is my favorite waterfalls, Tiffany Falls. This beautiful 21 meter high cascading waterfalls couldn't be more picturesque. These falls are framed by the large walls of the Spencer Gorge and surrounded by lush vegetation. I just love it. The walk into Tiffany Falls is so serene and peaceful. There's water flowing everywhere. You walk about 500 meters from the designated parking lot to access the bottom of these falls. For accessibility, it is a dirt path leading in with routes and other potential obstacles to step over. And once you get to the falls, there are stairs leading up to the viewing platform. Number two on the list of waterfalls worth checking out is Sherman Falls. It's a 17 meter high curtain waterfall that spills over beautifully from Ancaster Creek. You can get to the bottom of these falls. The parking lot is about 450 meters away from the beginning of the trail and requires you to walk down a short gravel road. For accessibility, these falls have stairs leading to the trail. The trail is beautiful and just like Tiffany Fall, it is a dirt path with roots and other potential obstacles. Number three is Two Falls, one of the most popular waterfalls in the area. This thin ribbon waterfall is the highest in Hamilton at 41 meters. The walk to Two Falls from the parking lot is about five minutes. There's no access to the bottom. There are two viewing platforms that let you have a view of the falls and gorge, and there are stairs leading to both. One of the platforms was totally obstructed by these beautiful trees at the time of my visit. After climbing to the second viewing platform, you can hike along the trail, which is technically part of the Bruce Trail for about 25 to 30 minutes to Dundas Peak for beautiful views of the city of Hamilton and Dundas Valley. Number four is Webster Falls, a 22 meter curtain waterfall that flows over tiered rock formations. It's one of Hamilton's most iconic waterfalls. There are these beautiful historic cobblestone bridges and walkways around the falls with picnic tables and large grassy clearings. This is a nice place to have a picnic. Unfortunately, there's no access to the bottom of these falls. The paved trail between the Webster Falls parking lot and the lookout point is about 100 meters. Last but not least, number five is Albion Falls. It's a 19 meter tall cascading waterfall that's almost as wide as it is tall. It's a beauty and one of the most popular falls in the city. There are two viewing areas. It makes for a nice spot to relax. Unfortunately, you cannot get to the bottom of these falls. Albion Falls is accessible and about 200 meters from the parking lot. Well, that's it. I hope you are inspired to get out in nature and explore the beauty that's close to home. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace!